Guys, so today's workout for the compete track is 300 double unders, 200 calories on the rower, and 100 GHDs. This can be partitioned any way you like, but what we'll be demonstrating shortly, as written. I did the workout, 300 dubs, 200 cals, 100 GHDs. Um, for me personally, I think if I was to partition it, I do think the times would have been pretty similar. Maybe, a, maybe a, honestly for me personally, a little bit slower partition just because I find for me, if I've got a lot of transitions, my transitions can get a little bit slower. Whereas for me doing in the big chunks, knowing I've only got one transition, I can do the big chunk, get to it, find a rhythm with the movement, and I feel like I'm better at sort of sustaining that rather than doing it, stopping, doing it again, if, if that makes sense, through, through the workout. So for the double unders, the goal was to do the 300 unbroken. I think I tripped around 160 and then at like 220. So I was a little bit annoyed about that, but there were quick trips, could pick up the rope again and start it. On the roller, I was holding at the start around a 1300, and towards sort of the middle, it dropped down to about 1100, but then I knew I could pick it up, so I took it back up to about a 1200, 1300, and that felt pretty consistent. For the GHDs, that was probably the big limiter for me. Um, my hip flexors sort of tired out pretty quickly, so I got to 50, had a short break, just adjusted the GHD slightly, and then try to finish the last 50 as strong as I could at that point in the workout. I think if we were to cap this workout, I would say around about 22 minutes would be a pretty good cap. Um, goal, sub 20 minutes.